Good morning. I trust you're doing well this morning. So yesterday we talked about anger and the idea whether it's healthy or unhealthy. There's something I want to look at today, and I think it's important. Scripture says that we're to deny ourselves and take up the cross and follow him. And that's great, and I think it's awesome to do. But here's one of the problems. The problem is you can't deny yourself if you're already in denial. What does that look like? Well, in part what that looks like is when we have learned to hide our emotions, hide our feelings, hide what we're thinking and, and believing and all of those things, we stuff them so deep that we aren't even able to access them. And so one of the problems is, is that you cannot deny your feelings if you're not even acknowledging your feelings. And that's one of the sources of anger. The, the issue is, is that when someone is disrespecting me or uh, using me or other things, I may respond in anger, but I may not be able to be in touch with the thing that's really going on inside of me. The other scripture that I find misused is the idea that we are to turn the other cheek. And I think that's important and I think it's good. But the problem is, is that, well, sometimes we do it without realizing what we're actually doing. In other words, we don't deal with the issue that's going on in our hearts. We just turn the other cheek. We become doormats. And that's not what Christ was talking about. When he was talking about forgiveness, he also talks about accountability. Now, I know he doesn't say that that way in that kind of terms, but the idea is that we need to hold people accountable. But again, sometimes we've learned a behavior and a lifestyle, well, that puts us in a position of becoming doormats for the emotions and the feelings and the attitudes and behaviors of other people. And the problem is, is that, well, we get angry. We may reach a point that we become enraged. And I think that one of the things that I've realized in life is that when you become enraged, that is a clear sign that something's going on. But again, the problem is, is recognizing it. So here's the challenge today. The challenge for all of us today is what's really going on in my heart? Doing some self-reflection, self-reflecting questions like, what am I feeling? What does this remind me of? Where does this take me back to? What's going on in my heart? Try to answer those questions. And you'll be surprised as you may start to learn what's really going on and why you're acting and responding the way you're responding. Hey, until next time, God bless.